Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is lesson 407. Uh, the title of today's lesson is The Difference Between Grasp, Grab, Seize, and Clutch. Okay, so some students might often ask, you know, what's the difference between these ones? They all have something to do with somebody taking something, especially taking it kind of fast or kind of quickly. Uh, there might be a little crossover between some of these words, which means that you might use uh, like two of them or so in some of the same situations. Uh, but I'll try to point out some key parts where you'll, you're likely to use one over another one in certain situations. So let's take a look at the first one. Grasp. Uh, grasp means to take hold of something or someone, especially tightly. So once they take it, they're holding it tight in their hand, okay? Uh, so they usually have a tight grip when you grasp something, um, yeah, at least for a short period of time. All right, now grab. Grab means to take hold of something quickly. So uh, grab has to have speed for when you're going to get it. Uh, it's usually in a rough way or maybe even sometimes in a rude or impolite way. You know, maybe you're grabbing something away from somebody or you're grabbing something before somebody else could get something. So competition, okay. All right, now let's look at the next one, seize. Uh, to take someone or something in an illegal or violent way by force. So definitely is by force here and it's strong. All right, number four, or the next one, clutch. To hold something tightly or firmly because you are afraid. All right, so this is one part with clutch. Clutch usually has to do with either like fear, in pain, or not wanting to lose something, you know, afraid that somebody's trying to take something away from you, uh, is more like when you might use clutch. Okay, let's continue. So, the key to grass is to hold tightly for a period of time. Usually it's urgent, it's some kind of an urgent situation when you grasp something. Uh, not necessarily violent, though. So, let's look at the first one. Uh, when he started to lose his balance, um, when he started to lose his balance, he grasped the banister railing. So he grabbed it and he probably held it very tightly. Could you say grab here? Maybe you could too. But it's not necessarily in a violent way. It's not violent at all. But you would take it quickly and you hold it tightly once you, once you get it in your hand. You probably would do that because he's, maybe he's an old man and maybe his balance is not so good. All right, uh, the next one. When a good idea came to him, you know, came to his mind, he grasped the pen, so he's holding it tight, like, I gotta get these ideas down, uh, the pen, and started to write. So again, he's holding something very tightly. All right, let's, again, continue. Uh, the key to grab is for someone to take something suddenly in a rough or impolite way, or again, as far as we say, like competitions or sports, a lot of times we're gonna use the word grab. Um, she grabbed the toy away from her brother. Yeah, so this is in a very rude way, a little bit of an impolite way. You know, one child grabbing something away from another child. Yeah, we would usually say that. Uh, grasp, not as likely. Uh, well, seize, no, I'll explain soon why. Seize is usually somebody from authority. Here they're on the same level. Uh, or clutch, uh, there's no pain or emotion so much. So really grab would be the most common. Um, all right, and the second one here, she grabbed the last one before I could get it. Yeah, again, with competition. Maybe there's in a store, you know, uh, two people see the same thing and they grab it, ah, I got it, I got it first. So usually we use grab kind of in this way. So again, quick, uh, competition, maybe rough, maybe impolite. These are the key parts of when you might use grab, okay? Uh, all right, uh, the key to seize is often someone in authority uh, or somebody that has more power or, or possibly a, it being official. They take something. So, mm, let's see. Uh, the police seized 500 pounds of marijuana uh, from the suspect's home. Yeah, again, they took it. Uh, but here, definitely, they are from an authority, the, uh, from a, you know, a, a power. They're taking something away. It's definitely official. So, seize would be used in this, more likely in this sort of way. 
the army seized control of that village. Yeah, definitely. So, again, somebody with a power, authority, taking something away from somebody else by force. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, let's look at the uh, next one. The key to clutch is someone is holding something tightly due to a strong emotion such as fear or pain or discomfort or something like that. So, let's look at the examples here. Uh, she clutched my hand. Each time the labor pains struck. Yes, yeah, so this is maybe a wife clutching her husband's hand. <clears throat> kind of like that. Yeah, we would probably use clutch in this sense. Definitely has to do with pain. Uh, definitely has to do with emotion. Okay, uh, let's continue. Uh, that lady clutched her purse tightly. Uh, when she uh, saw a dangerous looking man starting... Uh, or staring at her. Maybe she thought he might be a robber or a purse snatcher. And she clutched it. She's holding it very tight. She's worried that this guy may want to take it away from her. Here she's probably both nervous. Uh, and she's afraid somebody might try to take something. So you hold it on. Hold it tighter. You clutch it. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And the last example here. That small cl child uh, clutches um, her mother's hand because she was afraid of a barking dog. So she, again, nervous, emotion, a pain. That's more like when we might use clutch. Again, there are some situations where there could be a little bit of a crossover. You know, sometimes like with grasp and grab, maybe you do all of it together. Maybe uh, somebody grabs something tightly, but they do it in a rough way. Maybe both could be used. But generally, I hope some of the hints I gave you gives you a better idea of when you're more likely to use one than the other. Anyway, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.